Hi, James. Congratulations on your not retirement. I just wanted to say that I've treasured our friendship and our shared work toward building spaces where we can ask the deep questions to foster a more just and peaceful world. I've loved sharing teaching strategies with you and working together on building programs to help students stretch outside their bubbles and biases. And I've marched with you in, uh, to raise our voices to make our community a better place. So thank you for all that shared work. And in gratitude, I want to offer this poem by Marge Piercy from her book, Circles on the Water. To be of use. The people I love the best jump in to work headfirst without dallying in the shallows and swim off with sure strokes almost out of sight. They seem to become natives of that element the black, sleek heads of seals bouncing like half-submerged balls. I love people who harness themselves, an ox to a heavy cart, who pull like water buffalo with massive patience, who strain in the mud and the muck to move things forward, who do what has to be done again and again. I want to be with people who submerge in the task, who go into fields to harvest and work in a row and pass the bags along, who are not parlor generals and field deserters, but move in a common rhythm when the food must come in or the fire be put out. The work of the world is common as mud. Botched, it smears the hands, crumbles to dust, but the thing worth doing well done has a shape that satisfies, clean and evident. Greek amphoras for wine or oil, Hopi vases that held corn are put in museums, but you know they were made to be used. The pitcher cries for water to carry and a person for work that is real. James, you are one of those people, so thank you. Hope we stay connected.